Okay, for the top one, first I always work on the ligands. We've got a hydroxo here, ligand OH. We've got five waters or a penta aqua. Uh, and then we have the aluminum. So there's all the ligands. We'll move to the charge of the metal. So hydroxo is minus one. Zoom in a little bit. The water is zero. The chlorine's minus one. So if the chlorine, and there's two of them, are at minus one, everything in the brackets is? Yeah, it has to be plus two. <coughs> Think of magnesium chloride, MgCl2. The Mg has plus two charge. Okay, so that means the aluminum must be uh, three plus. Three plus minus one equals plus two. So let's put that all together. We want the A in aqua to come before the H. So again, we don't take into account the prefixes that uh, talk about the number. So that's uh, penta aqua hydroxo aluminum three and now we name the counter ion, just like we'd say magnesium chloride, we're going to say blah, 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 chloride. So two, two names, penta aqua hydroxo aluminum three chloride. Move on to the second one, everybody's ready? Okay. Here, uh, we've got the sulfate, which is sulfato. We've got five uh, amines, so penta amine, and where A is going to come before S, so penta amine sulfato will go in that <coughs> order. Uh, the chromium now, we want to know the charge on chromium. Well, the brackets here gives it to you, the overall charge is plus one. The sulfate has a charge of minus two and the mean is zero. So chromium minus two equals overall charge of plus one, or chromium is plus three, which is a common charge for chromium. Cr plus three. Uh, it's a cation, so we're gonna name it in English for the middle name. And this would be uh, penta amine. Sulfato, chromium, three, and what's the last name? Ion. ion. Yeah, if it's charged, its last name will always be ion. So whenever you have a charged species, last name's always ion. <coughs> Any questions? 